All right, uh, this this talk actually deserves quite a few uh, diagrams, but I don't have time to do that because I'm busy doing work and all that kind of crap. So uh, gonna put out my ideas and please uh, think about this very deeply. Uh, if there's any words related to this subject, please look them up, offer definitions, let's discuss, let's get real about it because it's been a long time since you started a country or anything like that. And we're going to talk about ideas and philosophy and backing for uh, currencies. Okay. Fundraising. We're going to talk about trust. And we're going to talk about uh, how projects specifically can gain confidence and back themselves on a token um, uh, onto the block uh, or that is resting, residing on the actual uh, blockchain itself. Uh, and the pros and cons uh, related to that. Keep in mind, all, many ideas have merit. Some ideas have more merit. Okay, so uh, uh, I believe that the current uh, the current idea of taking minor reward has merit. Don't get me wrong, but here's a far superior model. And I have a feeling a lot of you are not going to get this at first. And I'm just I don't have much time. I'm going to say it. Uh, I'm going to define the word trust, okay? So, trust is confidence, economically speaking. Okay, for economics, the reciprocity, the giving and taking of <clears throat> members in a society to mutually benefit and help each other to the, to the end goal of voluntary survival and, and, you know, blah, blah. Okay, trust. Trust is the certainty and the degree of belief that an exchange has in the past occurred, is in the present occurring, or the likelihood of it occurring in the present, or likelihood of that, that an exchange will in fact uh, take place in the future. This is the definite this is how I would define trust in this case. So it's the amount of belief that you're going to get paid back or that something will happen in the future. And this is what balances out giving and taking. For example, if I go to the store, I pick up a chocolate bar, um, I put it on the counter. I have trust that if I put my dollar on the counter to pay for that, that it's going to be accepted. And then that person, takes who the, the merchant who took my dollar, in turn, is fairly confident that they can use that to... Uh, do another exchange down the road. Uh, so the, that is actually the driving force behind um, usage, uh, getting getting people to use and give value to a currency. In the early days of the United States, um, folks did not trust the government. They wanted the currency to be... They didn't think the government was going to last. They thought the government was going to do a big exit scam. And so they didn't want the government or some authority to have their gold. And so um, money was gold and silver. Then eventually they started to gain trust, a little bit more trust, probably wrongfully so or rightfully so, whatever. Uh, and then there became symbols for gold and silver, which were notes, right? And during specifically stressful times, there were times where... Um, a particular project <clears throat> had a particular, uh, you know, a particular government had a particular problem that they needed to resolve and bypass the will of the people. And so th this is what a fiat currency is. It's not a merit-based money. It's a money that um, it, it's not it, it's not based on free will or choice that you would like to exchange it. It's that with a bayonet at your back, if you don't exchange it, uh, you could you could be uh, punished by the government or whatever. And that's the idea of, of fiat. Uh, but a far superior money is uh, it has value due to its merit. And its merit is due to uh, the ability to complete reciprocity, the giving and the taking, which is the survival of life. Okay, why am I saying this? Because I'm really, really tired of people talking a lot of smack and not defining what their fucking words are, okay? Listen, this is not a this is not something that 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 
can't be understood. But people, folks need to get real. You need to go and study your fucking Voltaire. You don't get into an argument with another person if you expect to have any resolution unless you give a definition for the terms in which you are engaging in a conversation, okay? Let the other coins fall to that mistake. We, in Bitcoin Cash, will not make that mistake, okay? I, I just, I just, I, I, I'm sincerely concerned with the lack of ability and willingness to duplicate and receive a fucking idea, okay? It's fucking shocking to me. There's a whole lot of talking and very poor listening skills. Extremely poor, okay? But I'm not giving up on it, but I'm just saying that the, the correct way is to give a definition for a specific word, okay? And then propose something and then have a two-way discussion about it. Here's how you do it. You take the trust that any corporation, let, let's say ABC, uh, Unlimited, all that stuff, they wanted, they, they, they're saying, trust us. We, we will complete this cycle of action. We will complete an exchange in the future. Trust us. You, sure, you, the one way you can do it is to, is to backdoor the, the money supply. That's just exactly what they did in the United States. And how did that work out? Well, we still grew and we still survived, but is there a, a, is there a way to do it with more merit? And the answer is yes, but you have to understand how, to, how currency is, is produced and what is it. It's a com it's confidence. You can back a f you can back a token based on the likelihood or c of confidence of an event taking place, such as do you believe that ABC will solve the bottleneck problem? Do you believe that ABC will follow out on their roadmap? Okay, yes or no. If you don't, then ABC probably can't raise money from you, and if they try to to backdoor the mining there it's just you're going down the road of the United States which has already failed don't go down that road what you want to do is ABC can come out and discuss the merits of why they're the ones that can complete this roadmap and why they're the ones that what they build the fucking confidence and the trust in other words now what they do is they issue a token either they do or the people do, or another hidden third, or some hidden, some anonymous party, someone issues a token that can, that can represent the trust that the people have in the confidence that these guys will pull it off. It's very fucking simple. ABC holds a supply, a specific amount of the tokens. To avoid securities problems, all you do is you have an inherent fee attached to every time that this token moves or every time that, that a particular event happens, whatever, you can decide. Like every time I give it away, a fee goes into the wallet of that particular developer. So every time I tip it, boom, it sends a transaction fee. And, it, and you could even get really, really creative. You could send it and then you could even blast a bunch of BCH with it, uh, you, you could get very creative with this. But you have to use the exchange model of the, of the, the whole user system to fund and, and build that confidence. And then everybody wins, okay? Everybody wins in that model. Um, I do. I want to bitch slap you guys, the Bit, Bitcoin Cash community, because honestly, I think you guys are... are you need, you need to be bitch slapped. You don't know your fucking history, right? And you don't know the mistakes that the United States has made and how to, how to fucking raise money and how to use our blockchain. Now, I love you. I love you. Um, but you've been in this, uh, you know, we can do this, okay? We can do this. Now, I expect that this will go over everybody's head. And that nobody's going to fucking understand what the definition of trust is and how trust can back a particular token. But it's the way to incentivize all parties, okay? Um, I fully expect to get 
disagreed with on this point, and I'm open to being disagreed with on this point. This is very important. We're going to have a big, long, open talk on this, okay? And we're going to really look at the merits of this. And, you know, frankly, this shit is so actually so obvious that, you know, I, I, the, <laughs> dude, the solutions are not very difficult, okay? They're not. It's just the willingness to actually confront and the willingness to study the history and define the key words and take, take responsibility for what is economics, you know? That's what got the United States into these problems in the first place. And don't get me wrong, I love the United States, but it's like, you know, fucking lost cause. And, uh, okay, so let's talk more, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not going to stay mad or anything like that. But, uh, okay, let's really get real. Let's talk about this, okay? Let's, let's actually listen to each other and let's use definitions of words. Okay, enough. Thank you.